Beautiful question. Zakul khair. Akramakum Allah. Maybe we all benefit, inshallah. Naam. Firstly, I'm going to go to the Quran. I'm not going to go to social models that were invented by men. I'm not going to go to sociology or psychology, people who are the most confused about the basics of life and especially religion. Tayyib. Allah says in the Quran, one ayah, Yaqsim Duhur al Jamia. Ya ayyuhannas. Oh mankind, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. We made you from male and female. So from the essence, we're all the same. Black, white, Somali, Moroccan, wherever, wherever you come from. We made you from male and female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَارَفُوا But we created you into tribes and nations. Why? So you may know one another. There's nothing wrong with knowing one's culture. The Somalis, they have their culture. Naam, the Moroccans, they have their culture. As long as it doesn't go against kitab and sunnah. طيب. إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ The best of you before Allah, the most pious. So as it refers to our standing before Allah, there's no difference except with taqwa. Secondly, with regards to those individuals that are marda, they're sick. Whether they have unsari arabiya, wallahi, any nationalistic cult is going to lead to balala. Look at what happened to the Arab nationalists. They ended up saying what? Amantu bil ba'thi rabba. I believe the ba'thist party is my lord. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem. That nationalism. Look what happened to the nationalistic call of the nation of Islam. They say every black man is a la. Kufr ilhaad. Look at the WD Muhammad movement. Look at those individuals that claim Salafiyah but now they're nationalists. Where they've ended up. No clue of Salafiyah. Naam according to the imams of Salafiyah. And their fatawa. Tayyib, with regards to social issues, Ikhwan, these things are so basic. Let's all learn our religion. Don't learn from the internet. Don't learn from the books of sociology. Don't learn from these theories. They're flawed. I studied in university. I have a master's in pharmacy. I studied these things. I read these, for example, these articles, these pieces of research based upon speculation. These, the people who founded these sciences, they murder themselves. Now, some of it may be true if it, goes, if it is in accordance to Kitab and Sunnah, as Imam Sa'adi said. If it goes against Kitab and Sunnah, it's rejected. I'm going to go, go back. The brother asked about social issues. Certain people, no doubt, they may have social issues which are worse than other people. No doubt about it. لا يختلف هذا اثنان poverty immorality depending where you were brought up the structure of your family إلى غير ذلك no doubt about it هذه سنة الله في خلقه you cannot reject the obvious however I'm asking you was it not in jahiliya they would bury their daughters alive is there anything more barbaric than that not just that. They committed the greatest crime which was shirk. They would make tawaf around the Kaaba naked. Slavery was present. Ikhwan, the answer is simple. When the Prophet ﷺ came, what did he unite them upon? Tawheed. Sunnah. Bilal al-Habashi. A slave. Prophet ﷺ said, what have you done? I heard your footsteps before me in Jannah. He never said, you know, you need to be a nationalistic hero. You need to come and make, re make a rebellion for the slaves. That's Spartacus that they've been watching. <laughs> Not the son of the Prophet ﷺ. Bilal al-Habashi. An Ethiopian slave. Guaranteed Jannah. So look, these people say, oh, but you know, the Somalis, the Moroccans, you know me, for example, as, uh, uh, you know, am I the same as them or whatever. Wherever, whatever culture they belong to, if a Pakistani or whatever, says, you know, am I meant to be the same as them with the issues that I'm facing? Ah, at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, weren't they all the same? Except based upon taqwa. Except based upon piety. The Prophet ﷺ, when he went to Medina, the first thing he done... 
He, one, one of the first things he done was what? Make the pact between the Ansar and the Muhajirun. Was it based upon color? You're black, go with the black person. You're white, go with the white person. It was based upon Iman. Salman al-Farisi, the Persian. You had a Rumi. Who? What was his name? Huh? Sahib, a Rumi. The Roman. They were like this. They said about Bilal. Bilal is Sayyiduna. Bilal is our, he's one of our elders. وَأَعْتَقَهُ Sayyiduna. And he was freed by one of our elders, meaning Abu Bakr. They never made no distinction on color lines. They never made no distinction based upon race. Ikhwan, those people that see, seek to divide us based upon race, they're marda. The shaitan, that's the da'wah of the shaitan. خَلَقْتَنِي مِن نَارُ وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِن طِينٍ You created me from fire and him from clay. I'm better than him. Any nationalist movement, they're on the path of shaitan. That's why even some of them who claim Salafiyyah, when they were asked about the demonstrations of the Black Lives Matter movement, they gave an answer, Allah wa Dawran. They never said, demonstrations are haram. Why? Because the du'afa, لَيْسْفَ عَلَى مَنْ عَجَلَ إِمَّا Not upon the way of Imam Muqbil, Imam Ibn Baz, Imam Ibn Uthaymeen, Imam Al-Albani, and the scholars alive, they're not on their manhaj. Compare these aqwal, what they say today, and their actions compared to the fatawa of the imma of a da'wah to Salafiyyah. And you will see ashbah ma yakun, these individuals are like the sururis. Madharum Salafi, like in manhajum ikhwani. Their appearance is Salafi, they may say na'am, Quran, Sunnah, understanding Salaf, but the implementation is an implementation of the methodology of al-ikhwan al-muslimun. Najtami' fi ma tafaqna alay, wa ya'adhuru ba'aduna ba'adhan fi ma khtalafna fi. Let's unite upon what we agree, we forgive one another about what we differ. Ikhwan, these type of shubahat, the qadim are old. Not something that is new. In Philadelphia, well, the individual I mentioned, I don't want to keep mentioning his name because he's nakira. He's la mahalo fil arab, jumlatan wa tafsila. Recently they had a conference about the state of the Muslims in America. They're not referring to every Muslim. It's only a particular community. They had a woman speaking, a Sufi. She's a Sufi. The, guy, the person was speaking right with, with her. The woman was saying, I, I listened to the video because some of these mukhaddila, they were promoting it and retweeting it. So I listened. You know what she said? What's wrong? With, why can't I come and address the people? Why can't I speak to the men? It's not our culture. That's what she's saying. She wants to give muhadarat to men in the masjid. And the person sitting there, yeah, it's not, that, that's, this is, their way basically saying, their way is not our way. Yaki, what can you, how much of the religion can you water down using that? They sound like the WD Muhammad community, right? Does that sound like Salafiyah? So at the end of the day, Barakallahu Fikum, no doubt, we have social issues. Various communities may have social issues, some more than others. However, what's the answer to Quran, Sunnah, with the understanding of the Sahaba? Allah did not reveal a sickness, except He sent with it its cure. And if somebody says, no doubt slavery is a reality. Musa, wasn't he enslaved? Were Benu Israel enslaved? Yeah, he look at this. Read the stories of the prophets. That's the problem is we don't study the Quran. That's the mushkila. Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, Fir'aun, he would kill the children to the extent, even his advisors, they had to go to him and say, you know what? Stop killing the children because if you keep killing them like this, we're not going to have any workers. Has history known a genocide like that? Musa, what did he go to the people with? Tawheed. Look how Allah Azza gave them Nasr. Look how Allah Azza humiliated and drowned Fir'aun. The problem is some people may have doubt in that. The promise of Allah. That's why they want man-made methodologies. Ask Allah to grant us tawfiq, all of us. Ask Allah Azza wa Jal and yuthabbitana jami'an ala al-haq that he grants all of us firmness upon the truth.